Yes, that is nice to hear. Marty, thank you. Let's go over three things to know about COVID-19. First, Governor Polis is meeting with President Trump in Washington, D.C. today. The governor plans to ask for more personal protective equipment and testing supplies for Colorado. The state isn't consistently hitting its goal of 5,000 tests a day by mid-May. Second, Governor Polis has launched Spanish language social media pages. They're to help get information to Colorado's Spanish-speaking population. The Facebook and Twitter pages will give news from the governor's office, resources, and educational information. And finally, Colorado has hit a very sad milestone. More than 1,000 people have died from COVID-19. 90% of those were aged 60 or older. Our state now has more than 20,000 cases. A total of 563 people are still in the hospital. Now that is down from one month ago. The highest number of hospitalized patients got up close to 900. They help put food on tables across the country and thousands have faced COVID-19 outbreaks at work. Now Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser urges the federal government to ensure the safety of employees at meat plants. Liz Kotelik tells us about the fight for health. The names of 20 attorneys general, including ours, Phil Weiser, are signed at the bottom of a letter addressed to President Trump. They're expressing what they call their urgent concern about an executive order the president signed two weeks ago. It's aimed at keeping meat and poultry plants open, ordering the Secretary of Agriculture to ensure that companies follow CDC and OSHA guidelines. The order elicited a quick response from the union that represents workers at the now reopened JBS plant in Greeley, a processing plant that has seen 245 cases and seven deaths so far. Far, the site of the largest COVID-19 outbreak in the state. The companies are going to take advantage of this and there's no incentive for them to provide a work uh, uh, a safe workplace. Which is why the union confirmed with Nine News last night that they agree with the demands from the attorneys general. They say CDC guidelines are voluntary. Here's what the attorneys general want to be enforced. Priority testing for workers, immediate access to adequate PPE, six foot physical and social distancing where possible, and plexiglass barriers where it's not, the suspension of all line speed waivers and a halt to approval of any additional waivers. They say those make workers work faster and closer to each other. They also want isolation and quarantine of COVID-19 positive workers with full pay. I did reach out to JBS last night and did not hear back. However, they have told Nine News in the past that they are following CDC, OSHA, and CDPHE guidelines, and they hired a consulting epidemiologist from the University of Colorado to go over all of the uh, all of their facilities to make sure that they are compliant. Natasha, all right, Liz, thank you so much for that update. Here are more top COVID-19 stories from around the world. Russia now has the second most cases of virus in the world. This happened as the country has began easing restrictions. Russia has more than 230,000 cases. The United States has uh, the most with more than 1.3 million right now. The number of children with a rare condition likely linked to COVID-19 has risen more than uh, more than 100 in at least 14 states now. The Centers for Disease Control says it is actively preparing guidance for pediatric multisystem inflammatory syndrome. They call it PMIS. Most of the cases are in New York, New York area now. USA Gymnastics is postponing all of its premier events until 2021. The U.S. Classic and Championships will happen next summer. It's going to be busy next summer. The Tokyo 2020 Games have also been rescheduled for next summer. And Twitter will allow their employees to work from home as long as they like. The CEO said that includes even after the pandemic ends. An email also said that the offices probably wouldn't open until September for people that do want to come back. And today is the deadline to get your direct deposit information to the Internal Revenue Service for those checks coming in. If you don't submit by 10 o'clock this morning, the stimulus check will go out to you by mail.